How you doing out there? This is John Wayne Mercure, the Sonneteer, Chandler, Arizona. Hey, I'm a sensei. That means I'm a teacher, a master, a priest, and I've earned it. I've earned it. It wasn't easy, but it was fun. And that's what you want to have in life is a lot of fun. And this is January the 1st, 2020. I just love saying that. 2020. I love to write it. It's cool. 2020. I hope we can all live uh, with 2020 vision in the coming years and we're all happy and prosperous and this is January the 1st New Year's Day hey happy new year I wrote this sonnet it's about my dad why because I watched my dad stop breathing on January the 1st New Year's Day and I wrote it down 10:24 in the morning a.m. I watched him take his last breath I never got over it I'm not over it now you just learn to live with the pain and live for him Live for him. That's what he'd want because he was my hero. He looked like Clark Gable. And this sonnet, number uh, 508. Wrote it uh, 2007. Gee, many. I wrote it 13 years ago. Yeah. Sonnet number 508. That most honorable and sacred name, Father. I pray to holy heaven. All of you have or had a wonderful <laughs> father like mine. Highest honors go to a man, my dad, who stepped up to the plate. He stepped up to the plate and, and he was shining as a batter. A father to be trusted. A man who knows and gladly does his duty as a father. My mother, a wonderful mother, to help him along. Two parents of true beauty. Working day and night to provide for his family. My dad, never complaining, hard work. Never shirking responsibility, always behaving nobly. To me, he was a king. A king in my eyes. A man to trust. A father to never embarrass. I could never stand the thought of even embarrassing my dad about anything. His lovely fatherly eyes. Words of wisdom. Arms that would caress. Men, they foolishly seldom tell their fathers how much they are loved. Don't make that mistake. Don't leave anything unsaid, especially when it comes of loving your dad and your mother. Unspoken sentiments of heartfelt affection for a dad beloved. You love him and you don't say it? Say it. Men who delight in God's greatest gift. The, the, the fathers, they love their lovely little children. Hidden pride shining from glistening eyes. Patriarchal fatherly vision. Advice offered, dads. Good guidance when they're telling you and you're young and you need a father to tell you respect for the law is always expected by dads to be righteous. Calmly, all crises calmly resolved. He's a giant among men, my father, a father respected. A father to honor proudly with athletic prowess because he was a great athlete just like him. I wanted to be an athlete. Another reason to emulate a gentleman, that's what he was, a man of righteousness, an athlete like my dad was. Fishing trips, instructing me how to fish, telling me to be aware of all the wilderness of the Colorado, beautiful alpine Rocky Mountains. Fabulous, the beauty. Telling me, look, just look, open your eyes, look, it's so beautiful. Is this not a piece of heaven? Because it is. I wish those times had lasted forever. Holidays, you know, good times, and then he had to work, hard work. His work ethic was emphasized emphatically that work itself is a form of prayer. Honesty regarded as sacred. Smirking outlaws, people that don't want to have any rules, they always answer to the higher judgment of God. Nobody ever gets away with anything. He was an expert firearms instructor. He taught me how to use guns. He treasured the Second Amendment. He thought it was a holy right that people should be able to defend themselves. Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, all of them. George Washington said, uh, free people ought to be armed. They ought to be able to defend themselves. It's a holy right, the Second Amendment. But he told me, my dad, hurting animals, that's discouraged. Hunt only for food. It's your birthright, something to eat. Self-defense was champion. A man must be a man in a world of men. That's the way it is, okay? Selfish dishonor is reprehensible for a man. 
you got to challenge bad men. You can't let them get away with it. The rules apply to everybody. Ladies are to be protected, shielded from dishonor and disgrace. I was taught that. See damsels as other people's precious daughters, priceless. Your daughters are going to be priceless to you. Never flee from trouble. That's what my dad told me. Face it, face it, and work her on through with the whole problem, the dilemma, with dignity and righteousness. For a man to survive, always remember, you'd rather be dead than be dishonored. Death before dishonor. A father is a guardian lion in the tall grass, always protecting you. Honor, strength, a servant of justice, my father, my hero father, my king, my awesome mentor, a giant among men, my father. I will die worshiping John Mercure. He named me after the great actor, John Wayne. I just watched Red River. It's his best movie in 1948. Red River, John Wayne. His name was Don, my dad, John Mercure. I'm John Wayne Mercure, and I love that name. My ancestors go back a thousand years, and it's been wonderful. Now I'm old. And I'm telling you, on New Year's Day, I'm talking about my dad. Tell your dad you love him. Respect your dad. You only have one father. I could tell you stories. Your father's precious. Love him. Tell him. All right? Love yourself first, and then love those who love you like your dad. Your dad loves you. Love him. Love those who love you. Thank you for listening. God bless us, everyone. Happy New Year, 2020.